well, well. Welcome back to Cara Jo Plans. Today we are doing a weekly check-in in my Budget by Paycheck workbook by the Budget Mom. Um, yeah, weekly check-in. I'm just kind of frazzled today because it's spring, it's the end of March, and we got like a couple inches of snow last night, and I'm mad. <laughs> so... Anyhow, um, so we're over here on this expense tracker. This is for the week of the 19th through the 25th. So we'll take a look at this side over here. And kept up with my expense tracking on my calendar already. So all of my expenses are already on here using my labels from my Etsy shop. 21 different colors. And I use a bunch of them because I have a bunch of different categories. So those are some of the labels that are on there. So let's go ahead and do the weekly check-in part where I see where I am with my budgeted amounts. So for bills, we just had one. And I think actually, I don't know what this Apple was. I think it was a game purchase or something. But either way, I'm going to count it towards my Apple bill. Just the one there. And then we had a fun expense. So my kids got some gift cards for Christmas and one of the ones we got was Barnes and Noble. And um, only one kid got a Barnes and Noble one. So we had some extra overages above and beyond the gift card. So I counted that in our fun money for the month, even though I don't know if I have any left, but again, what I budget for is bare minimum income. So anytime that I earn commission above and beyond my income, I do have extra money in my budget that I usually put towards debt or savings, but sometimes it can go too fun too. And we had two personal expenses. Um, Dick's, Yeti got me. Yeti has two new colors of their products that they released. And honestly, it's kind of actually like this color. It's like a real deep blue purple and I had to get a, um, a Rambler in that color. So that was my $40.66 at Dick's. And then I got my nails and a pedicure done. First pedicure of the season. So that was nasty. <laughs> but my toes look much better now. And then I had a bunch of food expenses. We had gift cards for Olive Garden as well. And we went over by $2.50 there. Not a big deal. Um, Walmart, we picked up some groceries last Saturday. Foodland, we grabbed some ice cream. So the Walmart we were at was too far away from home to grab ice cream at. So we stopped at Foodland, which is a lot closer to the house. Um, so that's why there's so many food <laughs> expenses here. Um, and then we stopped at Dairy Queen after the boys took their belt test for Taekwondo to get ice cream cones to celebrate them passing their test. So now we have a yellow belt with purple stripe for both of them. And then we did finally get some Girl Scout cookies. They were really backed up in our area. So our cookies just got delivered this week. And we had dinner at Sheets one night. I think that was actually the same night as the belt test. Um, and then on the way home from a doctor's appointment, we grabbed McDonald's real quick because I had to drop the kids off at the boys or at their dad's. And I had Subway for lunch one day. So lots of food expenses this week. Um, we're going to blame that on me. Well, grocery shopping and we went eating out. Um, but I really haven't been doing a lot of meal prepping. So that's a problem. I got to get into that. I made a couple things yesterday. And I think I'm going to do a big batch of chicken in my Instant Pot today. And then I put it in my KitchenAid stand mixer and shred it. And then I can put different toppings and mix it with different things. So I think I might do a couple breasts that way today. Filled up for gas one time for $64. And the household at Walmart was actually Easter stuff. And I don't separate out holidays into expend different expense categories anymore. So it just goes straight into household. And then I did one giving. Oops, I forgot to do the household down at the bottom. Let me grab that again for $100. And 
me grab the green for the household one more time. And let's total everything up. Let me find my pen. Pen would be important. All right, so the only bill we had was the $2.11. And we were already over $25.90 on bills. So $25.90 plus $2.11. So now we're over $28.01 on bills. Fun money, we had $32.00. 35 and let me go back and see where we were on fun. We had 65 remaining. So 65 minus 32, 35. We still have 32, 65 left in fun money. Personal, we had 40, 66 plus 75, 115, 66. And I had 92, 82 left. Minus 115, 66. So I'm over by 22.84 there. And then food, we had 250, 52, 72, 17, 66, 745, 20, 25, 56, 1701 and 13.25. So we were at 156.15 for food. And we were already over? Were we already over? No. I did my thingies wrong last time. Uh-oh. Okay, let me get the white out. For one second, let me finish this food first. So 156.15, and we had 236.18 left. So now we still have 80.03 left. Let me get the white out and fix the other ones real quick because I think those are wrong. See, I think what might help me is if I do these in red and green. That way I know what's over and what's under. Because plus and minus I'm getting confused with. Okay, so bills. I had $25.90 left. $25.90 left. And I spent $2.11. So I have $23.79 left. Then fun money. I had 65 remaining and I spent 32.35. Okay, so that one was okay. 32.65 left. Let me write remaining up here. And then the personal, I think, is where we were over already. So I had 100 left there. And I spent 192. So we were over 92.82 before the beginning of this week, and I spent 115.66 more. So now we are over by 208.48. Okay. And then car expenses. I had 120.43 left, and we spent 64. So we have 56.43 left there. Household. I was over by 73.03, and I spent another 69.12. So this one's over already, so that's 142.15. And then giving, I had 100. And I had budgeted 300, so we still have 200 left there. Okay, 
So two of these are over. And there was a bunch. This is over. I gotta go back to the other week and look. So this one was over, 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 and over. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I got it squared away. Okay. I think next month I'm gonna do red and green highlighters on the remaining so I know which way we're good to go. Green is remaining, red's over. So I think I'm gonna do that next month because I've kind of made a mess here. So still have some left in my food budget for the 26th through the 31st is what we'll count that on there. And then there's still some left for bills. I think I have a water bill that still comes out. It's usually about 32 bucks. So we're a little bit short there. Um, car, I can fill up one more time, not fill up all the way. <laughs> so that one's a little bit short. And then giving, we still have some left. So food 8003 left for one more week. Um, I actually just went to Walmart and did a Walmart pickup order and I think it was right around $90. So we'll be really close on that one as well. And then, like I said, everything's already tracked over here on my monthly view. You can see lots of blue food expenses this week. So thank you guys for watching this one, this weekly check-in, and I will be back with a paycheck budget and a weekly check-in next week. So have a great day. Bye.